Hey folks, meteorologist Tyler Eliason here. Thanks for checking in with us at myfoxhurricane.com. Tropics still pretty active today. Of course, we had the disturbance east of Florida. Pretty much a non-story at this point with Invest 98L. Still probably going to get at least a tropical depression out of this, uh, but really just going to avoid land altogether. Should kind of ride up the east coast, staying at least a few hundred miles offshore. Probably going to kick up the surf just a bit along the east coast, but other than that, not much of a big issue for us, at least here in the U.S. Uh, some of the Canadian Maritimes could have some heavy winds and rain uh, as that kind of rides up the East Coast later next week. But, uh, yeah, for us here in the U.S., no problems from that, so that's great news. Bigger story is Tropical Storm Dorian. This is a small storm. I mean, look how compact and tight it is right now. That kind of structure is probably going to help it out uh, in terms of warding off some of the impacts from a lot of dry air really everywhere. I mean, there's not anywhere to go in here where there's not a uh, dry air in abundance. But like I said, that small structure of the storm uh, should help it uh, kind of ward off the effects of that. So slow strengthening expected, kind of heading into a better environment in terms of wind shear as well. Lower wind shear should become uh, at least a pretty healthy tropical storm, perhaps a category one hurricane as it pushes past the Lesser Antilles and into the Eastern Caribbean. Uh, for the United States, certainly something to watch here, but you, you think about the higher elevations that we have, especially on the island of Hispaniola, Dominican Republic, Haiti, of course, on the left-hand side of that. These high elevations just act as a, a, a cutting surface, if you will, for storms. It's tough for storms to move over that high elevation and keep their structure. So we'll probably end up with a, just a big ragged area of showers and storms uh, once this emerges on the northern side of the greater Antilles. So likely just gonna have a big slug of moisture kind of headed towards Florida for the holiday weekend. That could certainly bump up our rain chances for a time. So in terms of a big tropical system heading towards the US, I don't see it at this point, but you always gotta watch these things, of course, and certainly thinking of our friends down in Puerto Rico and uh, of course the island of Hispaniola and those smaller islands in the Eastern Caribbean as well. Uh, models in pretty good agreement and you see the watches and warnings out for portions of the Lesser Antilles tropical storm warnings out for some islands as well. Models are in pretty good agreement for that west-northwest track. We will watch it closely as we go throughout the upcoming work week. Have a good night.